Hello there, you beautiful 3D artists. In this video, I'll show you how you can download and install 3ds Max 2019 for free. Autodesk kindly allows you to have the full version of the software for three years on a student license. 3ds Max can be prohibitively expensive if you want to buy it, so being able to install and use it for free whilst you're learning is one hell of a good deal. So let's take a look at what you'll need to do to get Max installed on your PC. The first thing you need to do is go to the Autodesk Education website. You can follow the link in the video description or you can just google Autodesk Education, just like I'm doing here. Once you're there, you'll need to go to the free software section and then click on the 3ds Max link. This will take you to the 3ds Max download page. Before you can download the software, you need to either sign in or create an account. This is completely free and the Autodesk Education community is a really helpful resource. In addition to the free software, by signing up you'll also get access to some really good learning materials. So if you don't already have an account, you need to click on create account and choose your country and educational role from the drop down menus. I'm in the UK and I'm an educator so I'm choosing those options. Next you'll need to give them your name, email address and create a new password for your account. Make sure that you use a real email address because you'll be sent a confirmation email containing a link which you'll need to click on to complete your registration. Agree to the terms and conditions and then click create account. You'll now receive the confirmation email. Go to your inbox, find the email and click on the link to activate your account. Now you have your account, you can go back and sign in. Use the email address and password you created to log in. Don't forget to agree to the terms of use too. Once you've successfully signed in, you need to select the version of the software you want to download. You can see that Autodesk offer a few earlier versions as well as the latest. I want to install the latest version so I'm going with 3ds Max 2019. You'll then select the operating system you're using. 3ds Max doesn't support 32-bit Windows or Mac OS so you'll have to choose 64-bit Windows. Then choose your language. Once you've done all that you'll see that a serial number and product key is generated for you. And you'll also be given some details about the license you've been granted. All that's left to do on this page is to click install now. A service agreement will pop up on screen. You need to accept this and click on install. A file will now be downloaded. Once it's done, open it. This is the installer. Once the installer opens, you can choose the option to install 3ds Max 2019 on your computer. This screen allows you to choose which components you want to install. I don't want to mess around with any tools or utilities today, so I'm just choosing the install option. Here you'll have a chance to choose where you want to install to and once you're happy with that you can simply click on the install button. The installer will now download and install everything needed. This will take ages. It looks like it went quickly for me but that's just because I've sped it up in editing. It really took almost two hours. Once everything is installed you'll be greeted with this confirmation screen. This tells you that you've successfully installed 3ds Max 2019. You can now click on the launch now button to test out your brand new software. You'll have to agree to a privacy statement and you might also see that Autodesk automatically verifies your license as the software is starting up. Once all that's done, you'll finally be able to have a play around in 3ds Max 2019. Yay! So, now you've got Max installed, you're probably going to want to learn how to use it. I've recently started learning how to use Max and I've been using the fantastic courses on Pluralsight to help me. Pluralsight have tons of excellent tutorials and courses to take you from an absolute beginner to a seasoned pro. I started with the 3ds Max 2018 Fundamentals course by Kyle Green. It really helped me to get up and running quickly by teaching me how to create the vehicle you can see on screen. One of the best things about the learning process is the Skill IQ feature. This quizzes you on your knowledge of the software and uses this to suggest the best courses for you to ensure that you're not wasting time learning things you already know or getting frustrated trying to follow along with material that's just not suitable for absolute beginners. If you want to give Pluralsight a try, then you can use my link in the video description to sign up for a 10 day free trial. My first experience with Pluralsight was through the same free trial and since I first signed up I haven't looked back. If this video has helped you out then please show me some support by hitting that thumbs up button below the video. I upload new videos regularly including some damn fine tutorials on 3D modelling and game development using Maya and Unreal Engine, so be sure to hit that subscribe button too if you want to see more videos like that. If you need any help or further information then drop me a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.